Hola amigos, hola amigas, Dorian here from Hoverlux. Welcome, bienvenido, croissui, salam alaikum. Welcome to the channel, y'all. And what have I got for you guys today? We have got a floor cleaning demonstration video, 1970 style. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have a 1970 style mop and bucket. And even if I did, I don't think I'd use it because this is a lot easier. So this is what I'm gonna use for mopping. This is what I'm gonna use for vacuuming. And this is what I'm gonna use for polishing the floor after I put down some floor wax. So what is the idea between this? I thought it would be really nice to have these two pro these two vacuums you know, pr items here made by Hoover from the 1970s. This is made in the USA. This is the Hoover Celebrity. This is the one that I got from Sam. He uh, used it in a vacuum of the month video unsuccessfully because the motor was loose. Then he came up and we fixed it together with some spare parts that I had from another one and some donor parts from that as well. The hose that I got from Sam was in not in very good condition. Um, I do have another hose, but I decided to use this one. This is for the Hoover Celebrity Deluxe because it's got the air tube through it. But I decided to just to use that hose because it's nice and long and it looks really good. It's in really good condition. So I thought I'd use that one instead. This is the Hoover floor polisher that was sent over by my uh, family in Australia. My father-in-law, my dad, Neil, picked that up on eBay for me, sent it over and I refurbed it in a recent video, as you may have seen. And it works really, really well. So I thought, right, I'll give this a proper demo. So I thought I'll use the two together because they're matching color. They're absolutely fabulous. I really, really love them. And I thought it'd be good for you guys to see them in proper day-to-day -day use. So once I have done these for today, they'll get cleaned up again and they'll be put back up into the museum until they need to come out again for another, another video, another demonstration, or if any of you guys come over and visit all the vacuums and everything are here for you guys to use. Just arrange a date, email me, contact me on Instagram. Okay, so it's time to get cracking. So the first thing I have to do is, well, clear away everything. I don't know if you can see in the far corner over there, we have a dog and a cat, which will be under my feet. So we need to get them out of the way. <laughs> and then we can start cracking on with cleaning the floor. And I also need to lift up some of the furniture, chairs and stuff so I can give it a proper, proper clean. So. Without further ado, and without me waffling on anymore, let's get this going 70s style. Okay, so I have cleared away as much as I can from the floor. I've left a couple of chairs underneath there, it doesn't really matter. It doesn't get pulled out very often. Um, but I've put the rest of the chairs. The cat is now in the living room with Millie, and Gilligan and Zach are upstairs, all sleeping, so I can crack on with this vacuum. In. I'm using an original Hoover. Uh, with edge cleaning tool on this. I haven't refurbed it yet, but it's got a springy brush on it, so it'll be perfect for the floor. And that's what I'm going to use to vacuum. So let's carry on. <laughs>
So there we go, that is one part done. We have now vacuumed the floor and all the dirt is successfully inside the celebrity. Now the one thing I did find with this, as with all of these downdraft vacuums, is that as soon as I switched it on, the dust started to blow everywhere. Especially over that end where I shook out the dog and cat beds and there was lots of bits. I had to sort of like vacuum from a distance before it all gets swept up and it was being blown all over the place. So that is a huge downside to these types of vacuums, but everything is clean and tidy and now it is time for mopping. So let me get rid of this. That's one celebrity done with. Now I am going to mop the floor and I'm not going to do that in real time because it will be very boring. I will put this for you in fast forward and get the floor thoroughly cleaned and mopped. Okay, so I am here now. The floor is completely and utterly dry and clean. Um, if you do notice any little bits, just pick them up. Or you can always run over with the vacuum again just to make sure that there's no bits on the floor. It just makes it the finish a lot nicer. And this, I got this from Pound Stretcher. Uh, you've seen me use this before in demonstrations. It wasn't expensive just one of these kind of like dust things. I find these are amazing for spreading the wax or the floor polish around. And this is gonna be my floor polish of choice. Again, this is not expensive. This is astonish wood floor polish. You can get this in any of the discount stores, pounds, um, Pound stretcher, BM bargains, it's not expensive stuff and it is so good. My floor is not wood, my floor, my floor is laminate and if you want to put a nice lovely shine on it, if you've got a dark floor like I have, the worst thing you can ever do, I hate this dark floor, <laughs> this will bring it up for a, a, a lovely shine for as long as the pets or children or husbands will allow you. So I'm just going to shake up the bottle and what I'm going to do sure this is all fluffed up like so and I'm going to pour some onto this oh, and I've spilled some on the floor it doesn't matter and then what you want to do is just pour some on the floor like so and then just evenly coat your floor evenly is the word jewel and I love this flat mop thing because it gets under things and in the corners because that's where you just don't want to forget get underneath and around there so if you do have furniture that you don't move very often like I do with this table this stuff is perfect evenly mop your floor and as I come closer to you you'll see how it looks once you've got the mop kind of like saturated or wet then spreading it out is really quick some crannies. Now this part of the floor here, 
does get a lot of wear with my chair going around and this brings it up looking like new. So I'm just going to go around all the legs of the furniture. Keep adding more liquid as you need it. Spreading it out. Now this part where the chair is being, you would never think that now. I don't know if you can see in the camera. I have used this on tiles. I have used this on laminate flooring. And I love it. So I'm just going to keep adding more products. And push it down. There we go. So you can, you, can see, you can see the difference. It looks wet, but you'll see as it dries. I will put it on time lapse for you so you can see exactly how it dries Finishing off this bit into the kitchen. Right up to the edge. Done and dusted. Now I'm going to have to walk back on it uh, so I can turn the camera on to time lapse and then hopefully you will see how it dries. see that doesn't take too long it's taken about 15 minutes for it to dry and as you can see it dries to a slightly matte finish but it looks impeccable absolutely impeccable this looks like it's just been laid that's how good it is you don't have to polish it you really really don't have to polish it I'm only polishing it because I want to use the machine it will add a little bit of a buff to it but uh, let me just plug it in. Now that I've added the new cord to it, it's got a nice length to it. I'm going to plug it in. Just over there. <clears throat> and I'm going to start over this end and bring you guys a little bit closer so you can see what's going on.
What do you mean? Yeah. Hang on. Come in, it's alright. Go to the place. Uh, leave them outside the cycle. to buff in is time. Oops. And buffing does take time, especially with this tiny, tiny, tiny little machine. Now, I do like using it, and I will, as you'll see, I'll polish the floor with it, but it's not going to make a huge amount of difference because of the floor wax that I've used. Um, but it's just a fun little thing to use, and it hasn't been used for its purpose for so many years. It's nice to actually put it back on the floor, back in use. Um, what else was I going to say? Yeah, so that's why uh, buffing with a real wax floor, like when I lived in Colombia, I had a real big buffing machine. It was, it looked a bit like a sanitaire. It was silver and it was really big and it had three wheels on it and that's what I used to use to buff the floor. Well, sometimes. Uh, but it's fun to use. Anyway, so I'm just going to continue buffing the floor and you can watch it in sped up time, otherwise you'd be bored to tease. polish that I use, the laminate. Let me just put the microphone back on my lapel. <clears throat> but it's done a really good job. The floor is nice and clean, very, very shiny, and looks really good. I'm really chuffed with that. Yeah. Nice and easy to maneuver as well not too difficult to push along maybe a bit small but i think these were designed for sort of like small areas small rooms or whatever but i really like it it's very nice to use and after all this time back using back doing what it should be doing lovely lovely big natural brush bristles 
on those brushes right up to the edge as well so it did a really good job mm, it's a little warm but hardly anything at all love it yep yeah, really good can't wait to use this again so there we go thank you very much for watching i hope you have enjoyed just a little step back in time using a couple of products from the past from the 70s stuff that does still work and still can be used as you can see from our lovely no polish floor i'm very happy with it okay so thank you very much for watching please comment like and subscribe for more videos and i'll see you guys very soon bye y'all